how to trim lavender in your garden. Stick around for my tips and tricks on when, how, and what tools to use to trim lavender in your garden. Hi, I'm Julie from Saviano Lavender Farm. Let's get to it. Trimming lavenders each year, whether you have one or 100 lavender plants, is a must to maintain happy and healthy lavenders. The time to trim lavenders is in the fall before the first frost or in the spring after the last frost. Here are some of my absolute favorite tools to trim lavender with. Now, when to use what tool depends on how big your lavender plants are and how many plants you have in your garden. I purchased a cheap pair of scissors dedicated just for gardening. And I purchased them at places like the Dollar Tree or Walmart. And I use these scissors on the lavender plants that I grow in my greenhouse and on the store-bought lavenders right before I plant them in the ground or in a pretty container pot. Now folks have a hard time with this next piece of advice, but trust me, you need to cut half of the foliage off. That's half of the leaves off. This will encourage the plant to fill out more increase root development and it is essential for happy healthy lavenders especially during their first season of growth these are awesome when your lavender plants get a bit bigger and feel free to keep using scissors if you have just two or three plants. But if you have more, this tool will save you from blisters and stiff hands. Let me share with you a huge mistake I made with my first crop. I trimmed 800 lavender plants with a pair of scissors and it took weeks for my hands to recover. Now, did you notice when I trimmed the smaller plants with scissors, I just cut them straight across? That's because they hadn't filled out yet like these ones. Now, with the shears, you can start to shape the plant. And I like to shape mine into this round mound. You want to leave one or two inches of foliage on the lavender. Be careful not to cut into the woody branches of the plant. Now I was able to trim 80 lavender plants on a single charge and I will link the brand where I got the shears down below if you're interested. Many folks assume cutting the lavender flower spikes is all they need for a good lavender trim. Now this is just not so, my lavender peeps. A proper trim requires the removal of a third to a half of the foliage too. Trim lavenders growing in containers the same as you would trim lavenders growing in the ground. Leave one or two inches of foliage on the plant above those woody branches. Now be sure to clean the cuttings from around the plant so it will not impede air circulation or trap moisture under the lavender. This can cause fungal growth and you do not want that in your plants. So why do I call it trimming instead of pruning? Well, to me, pruning means cutting back the woody stems of a plant. And that is a big mistake with lavender and a quick way to kill your plants off. 
I think of trimming as giving my lavender a haircut. I'm just taking some off the top and the sides, but I'm leaving enough leaves to ensure that plant stays healthy for, and generates new growth in the spring and summer. So what happens if you do not trim your lavender plants? Well, they will grow thicker woody branches, they will sprawl, and the flowering lavender stems will become shorter and shorter with each season and less abundant over time. Hedge trimmers are a great option for fully mature lavender plants. Now those are plants that are three years and older. If you have just a few plants, the cordless shears may still work well for you. But if you have more than 10, I recommend investing in a hedge trimmer. These are plants I neglected to trim for two years and I'm only trimming off at most a third of the foliage and keeping at least an inch of leaves on the plant. Now be aware where the extension cord is when you're cutting and also be aware where your feet are if you like your toes. Oh my goodness, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it. It has been a long time coming. Um, I actually have recorded a whole bunch of content. I'm so excited uh, to get out there for you guys. And I cannot believe over this uh, time period, um, at least very few months, I have gained uh, so many followers who are interested in watching little old me share what I know about lavender. Um, I'm just so excited to be able to share more with you guys on cooking and growing and crafting with lavender. So stay tuned if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please do so. And if you like and comment on this video, that just uh, helps YouTube find me even more and so I can share even more content with people. If you stuck around to the very end, I want to encourage you to go to the description uh, section of my video down below and there you will find a link to my grower's guide. It's absolutely free. It'll give you a ton of information on growing lavender uh, no matter uh, what climate you live in around the world. So have a wonderful day everybody. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. How to trim lavender. <laughs> what tools to use to trim your lavender. <laughs>